Palm on. Crouch. Fine. Set. 20 seconds to play. South Africa keeping it tight. They certainly are. They've got the Use it. only score of the second half. And they're keeping the ball. They're playing keep ball at the moment. And they might kick it out to the sideline. They can't quite yet. They will now. They will now. They'll take the final. Or is the ball held up for a scrum? Let's see what the referee says. It is. He says it's unplayable. And he calls the final whistle. And South Africa have done it again in Las Vegas. They have won the Las Vegas Sevens final. They have beaten New Zealand and thrilled their supporters by 14 points to seven. There's Phillips Neyman who came into the game late. Rice Keane is opposite number. There's Branca Dupria. Dramatic moments. And there's some of the rugby scenes that make this so fantastic. Respect for each other. Respect for the game. Core values intact. South Africa and New Zealand playing a great final. And we celebrate a deserving winner. Well, South Africa coach Neil Powell, Neil, what an intense match. How was that from the sideline? Yeah, yes, it was very, very intense. And what a gutsy performance by my guys. And I think pound for pound, we, we're a lot smaller than the opponents, even Samoa in the, in the, in the semis. And uh, the guys just came out and, and played their hearts out and played for each other and oh, credit to them. There's no love lost between these teams. You really do seem to have a voodoo sign over New Zealand. How do you explain this? Oh, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, I think just the way the guys uh, showed their commitment and their guts, uh, it's unbelievable. And uh, it was just great to, to be able to pull this one through and we're very pleased. You lead the HSBC Sevens World Series heading to Wellington. How does that feel as well? You know, I haven't even thought about it. Um, you're saying it now. Yeah, it's unbelievable, but um, still a long way to go. And um, hopefully we can come to the end of the season and uh, still be there at the top. But it's uh, going to cost some hard work to do that. Well, you can see the great scenes here. <laughs> Plenty of digital cameras to catch the moments of the celebrations for South Africa, and uh, they deserve it. Well, Keith, we're royally entertained everywhere we go across the world. The fans pitch out, but it's the players who deliver the magic for this wonderful sport of seven-a-side rugby. And there's Cecil Africa, the man with a beautiful name, who's been a big part of the team uh, again this time. Let's go back to Seb Lozier. Well, South Africa's captain, Carl Brown. Carl, it was a fascinating game to watch. What was it like to play it? A lot slower than I thought it was. It was, uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a tactical warfare out there. I think uh, both teams are really tired after three days of, of rugby and they, you know, they gave it the absolute all and it was, it was a good game to be part of. 2012, the last time New Zealand beat South Africa, that's almost unbelievable. That's okay with me. <laughs> I'm alright with that. Yeah, um, as known, we, we know exactly what it takes to get to a final these days and the most important thing for us is that the guys get to the final. When they get to the final, they'll take care of themselves. You know, there were a couple of guys that are really hurting today. They push through, they know exactly what it takes. Four rounds down, five to go. You lead the World Series. How does that feel as well? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good. I haven't felt that since uh, 2008, 2009, so it's an awesome feeling to feel. And I know there's a lot of guys here for the first for them, so they'll get a taste of that, they'll be hungry and they want more. Vegas, magic, huh? It's a lovely place, I love the bright lights. So. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carl. I don't know how they do it, those guys. They're so beautiful and composed and it's full of expression as they are on the field in the game, just like Werner Koch, and this was the try that clinched it for South Africa as they went to the 14-7 win in front of the sign that uh, is uh, indicative of the bright lights, the entertainment capital of the world. And uh, Werner Koch and the rest of the South African team went on to win it and celebrate now with uh, another victory and the lead in the HSBC Sevens World Series. Just one point ahead of uh, New Zealand and they head now to New Zealand where the New Zealand fans will give them some welcome, I'm sure, because look how tight it is at the top. 
77. That's got to be a lucky number for here in Las Vegas, somewhere in this down on the strip. South Africa 78. Fiji have dropped back in the gap to third place. England fourth, and Samoa have improved to fifth. And Canada, who played in the semi-finals, have improved their total to be up in 11th place. And that's how it stands at the end of tournament four of nine. So these are great scenes really for the HSBC Sevens World Series but you've got to say for USA Rugby the world is watching here these pictures on a Sunday afternoon in USA going into a, a telecast totals aggregate totals we're told approaching 200 million households and so this has got to be good for the development of the game in this part of the world and they saw fantastic moments in the game such as the one that clinched the game let's look at it again and look at the magic that bought the try and that won the final yeah great by Carl Brown Cecil Africa's accuracy of passing Werner Koch the way the he hit the ball with pace and such delight and such skill and it was always going to be a tight game Keith and that we're not going to dwell on the fact that uh, the throw from New Zealand was overshot but just brilliance from South Africa. But let's applaud both South Africa and New Zealand for giving us a battle royal out there at the Sam Boyd Stadium. It's one of the greatest settings in world rugby and certainly one of the top tournaments in the world. So we're waiting for the presentation. There's Justin Hedult, who left the field quite early in the game. Uh, we hope he recovers. He's such a delight to watch as well. And the hugging is still going on. It will go on deep into the night, I'm sure. There's Neil Powell in the middle there. A little bit of snow on the roof uh, for Neil. He's a young man, uh, but uh, with the tightness of the games such as you have, uh, no wonder he's going prematurely grey. And Branco Dupre went off, was checked, came on. Cecil Africa, the man with a beautiful name representing his country. There's a guy from uh, Scotland with a nice similar name, wasn't there? Ken Scotland. <laughs> it was Ken Scotland who played for Scotland and the British and Irish Lions many years ago. You know, he's watching. Another guy called Mick English a few years ago, but even with a name like that, he played for Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> and there's David van der Sant, uh, the guy in the previous shot with the there was a vest on of uh, the cameraman who was a former broadcaster who made the famous interview with Franco, with uh, Francois Pinar at the end of the World Cup final in 1995 at Alice Park. And he's still involved with the game, making uh, video highlights of the South African team around the, the IRB HSBC World 7 Series. So here we are for the presentations. And the man in the centre is Bernard Lapasse, the boss of World Rugby from the International Rugby Board. And to his left is Dan Lyle, the Chief Executive Officer of USA Sevens Rugby. And uh, what a proud moment it must be for Dan to host the Sevens here in Las Vegas. The young women down in the front are the Seven Sweethearts, they're called. That's the name given to them, and they've provided the spectacular Las Vegas showbiz look for the whole of the three days. Here's the moment. Lapasse and Captain Brown. The cup is handed to the Springbok Sevens, the Blitzbocker. Wins again in Las Vegas. So, a uh, really 
thought called Neil Powell. His team is top of the table. And there they are, those are the young men who have achieved the feat of beating New Zealand in the cup final here in Las Vegas by 14 points to seven. And uh, we in the comedy area uh, delighted and very privileged to have been here to bring it to you. So my name is Keith Quinn. I salute my fellow, fellow commentators, Bill Seward, Scott Hastings, Gareth Rees, Brian Hightower, Nigel Starmer-Smith and Seb Lozier, producer Steve Jamison and the rest of the big crew here who've made this such a success and have brought these wonderful pictures to you. It was the Las Vegas 7s 2014. Join us again in two weeks from Wellington, New Zealand for round five of the HSBC 7s World Series.